Hello Cancer, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope that you're doing well. Uh, this is a love reading. A love reading for you, Cancerian. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm seeing here that something is ending with the dead card. An ending, a brand new beginning. It could be an ending between something that was once desirous, a relationship, a business. But seeing as this is a love reading, this is a relationship. And the four of wands typically represent marriage, celebration of marriage, union. So a marriage, a relationship could be ending for some of you in love here. This could be because some of you Cancerians maybe want to go out and try new things, see what the world holds for you. Maybe some of you need to experience life more to really know what it is that you really want out of this life. To be able to give more love more openly, more freely, without restraints, to be able to bring balance and well-being on your next venture in love. Some of you could be really focusing Intending on becoming emotionally mature. Intending on aligning with your true nature. Some of you could be blocking, resisting love. Or this could be someone who is blocking you in love. And that person is an air sign. So this person could be looking at you, observing you, or blocking you in love. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, let us get some more messages. Hmm. So this is how you're feeling. <sighs> like it is the end of being betrayed, of being stabbed in the back of being walked all over. You feel trampled like a rose, precious in love, giving so much, but not seen, not held, not respected in its beauty, in its nurturing abilities to bring well-being. I feel like you have surrendered, you give up. And this love and this energy of trying to be there for everyone. Wanting to find balance and stability within your own journey, on your own path. Wanting to get up and move. As if waiting for the wounds to heal, to cool down a little bit. Because you're ready to get up, shrug it off, and carry on walking, walking the sands of this beach. Connecting with your intuition, your emotions, healing, finding balance in love, in self-worth, self-value, emotional stability and maturity. Some of you could be feeling not so highly valuable right now. Wanting to find that balance. 
finding the balance is when you really get up, realize that a new day, you still are here. The strength is in you. The sun is shining upon you. You have a reason and a purpose in being and so you move. Yes, some of you are looking back at what you've lost. Heartbreak in a relationship, ready to move on, ready to take what it is that you have left of yourself to carry on into the new, knowing that your emotions are like water replenished continuously. Yes, it hurts and it takes time to heal. But finding balance is aligning with your sense of self-worth and belonging, your abundance. Trusting in your intuition, in your emotions, in your strength. <clears throat> now, some of you may have felt or feel or begin to feel like you lost something. Something was taken from you unfairly, unjustly lies, betrayal, things being done behind your back that caused you to be in this position to really let go, to give up, to allow people to be who they are to be silent so that people can show themselves to you to know that you are absorbing but you're still very powerful in your defense Being able to tell when you're being lied to or manipulated. Ready to pick up what it is that you have to move on, move out. Possibly doing this swiftly. Building yourself, your identity, your values, your groundedness, your stability. Wanting to create, establish foundation for yourself. Even within you, innately strong, grounded. balanced a place where no one can tell you your worth because you know hmm. this could be you looking at what it is that does not feel right Maybe things are not really prospering as they should in your life. And you're ready to pick up and move on to where your strengths can be fully utilized. Brand new, into the new I feel. Oh my gosh. Into the new. Syrian employment, safety, security, confidence, beauty, self assured, healed, working with the forces of nature to find balance in communication, in connection, in divinity. This is the power in which you are stepping into radically. All right, some of you may be in defense mode. And that could be good. Putting up a wall or building foundations, being stable. Using your third eye intuition to feel and to trust that what it is, the steps that you're taking are necessary. They're valid because you know what you're doing. You feel it. If you're blocking someone, I feel like you trust that. 
you're diving into your empress abilities of wisdom and intelligence here, trusting in your instincts, your intuition. Well, Cancerians, some of you may be in a toxic relationship, having toxic ideas, habits, attitudes, possibly addictions, negative attachments to your relationship. This could be a Virgo. <clears throat> some of you could live with a Virgo, be in a relationship with a Virgo. Some of you could be blocking a Virgo powerfully, trusting in your intuition. I feel like if your life has not been flourishing and you're wondering what's been going on, I feel like you're leaving this behind. I feel like this contributes to it. Something that drains you, doesn't inspire you or nourish you. It just takes. And you're left suspicious and void and alone at times. <clears throat> so if you are blocking, you have a right to really stand up for yourself in defense. And I feel like you're being very brave very brave, trusting to be able to deal with a situation like this that is possibly surrounding you on a daily basis. It could be something within your own self that you need to look at. What you need to do for you, look at childhood attachments, childhood traumas that keeps you in cycles, negative cycles. Hmm. <sighs> this situation may have involved police, the law, the courts. Maybe you're afraid that this person will block you or maybe you're desiring to really block this person maybe you need help to get this person out of your life or this situation Some of you are moving away. Some of you could be going to school, finding a different job, relocating, a shift in your sense of value and self-worth, realizing what you bring to the table, feeling good, wanting to take care of yourself first. Working on your money being patient, prosperity coming into your life, finding financial stability, being of service, receiving, receiving financial balance, stability, establishing a business, Syrian. These are your messages in love. I feel like this is your current relationship 
or a past relationship. I do not feel like if you're leaving a relationship that you're going to immediately be embarking on a journey to finding another one. I feel like you'll be going off to prosper, to be a success, to heal, to love, to become aligned, to be to feel respected, to have integrity, virtues. To really lift yourself up again. Thank you, Kent Serene, for being a part of this reading. And I hope that you find the messages here that resonate with you. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for future uploads. Remember, Kent Serene, that you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire dream big because you are all and all is within you much love take care